Welcome back to the Three Bourbon Years. This week we have Traveler Whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we had to do it. We had to do it. Did Obviously, there's, I don't know if we had to. There's been a lot of conversation about it. Some okay, some bad. Mostly bad. Some okay, some bad. <laughs> My bone to pick with this immediately is Chris Stapleton partnered with uh, Buffalo Trace on this, essentially. Yes. And he is sober, from what I hear. So how does he know from what's our, good whiskey? If from our stories we saw online. It's one thing you want, it's a sober guy making your booze. It's like <laughs> exactly. a skinny guy cooking for you. Like, no, <laughs> I don't trust that guy. No, no, you never trust a skinny chef. But it's a Buffalo Trace product, and guess what? You can find it. So we had to... It's Buffalo Trace, so everyone lost their minds. We're paying yeah. like $200 secondary for it when it first came out. Is that real? People were actually, what? Oh really? yeah, oh yeah. People were freaking out. And about by the way, spot. we got this one for like thirty-five dollars. Yes, and they're everywhere. And that's already probably a hefty price for it. That's already good. We haven't tried it yet. Yes. But what do we know about it? Uh, all right. So this is a Sazerac product. Um, the distillery is undisclosed. If you look this up, but uh, Harlan Wheatley is the master distiller who collabed with Chris Stapleton. So <laughs> if so facto, I'm your boss. I'm your boss. <laughs> Buffalo Trace is likely the distillery. Um, it is 90 proof. Uh, it's not age stated, however, it is a blend and part of the blend is a straight whiskey, which the straight whiskey regulation says it has to be at least four years. So do with that what you want. Um, the release date's various. So just constant pushing this stuff through when it first came out. Everyone heard about it. People were buying it, like we said, for ridiculous prices on secondary. So, got to give it a try. It's a 90 proofer. So, and how did you word it? Buffalo Trace is bottling. So Sazerac, it's Sazerac. Yeah. But the distillery is undisclosed. But it's bottled by Buffalo Trace, so right. technically not distilled there. So we don't so know where it's distilled and aged. Sazerac could be aged mystery at, distillery. Could it be aged at Buffalo Trace still? Could be aged there. Could yeah, you know, okay. Could be. A lot of things. It's all the snickle it could just be trucked in there and then put into a bottle at the location. So right. then they can say Buffalo Trace and then they can sell more. It and could be literally yeah. just distilled by Buffalo Trace too and for some reason a, I don't want to disclose it. The I whole concept is interesting. Like yeah. Chris Stapleton, great music, but a sober guy making whiskey or putting his name on whiskey. This thing's in here. Quick pop. Oh, that was so underwhelming for how hey. stuff it was. So while I'm pouring these, uh, if you guys are enjoying our content, uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Sweat. Drop a comment down below too. It's 70 degrees in here. We respond to everything. Everything. Right now, at least. Spilling everywhere. Uh, so we really appreciate you stopping by. Let us know if you've tried Traveler. You got enough in there? You know, I, I'm just like, it's, this is- It's like vodka. This it's is literally sweeter. like light Coors Light. In, like, it's, so, it's such a light color. Non-carbonated Coors. It's definitely a wheat color, weedy, yeah. hay. Interesting. I, I mean, it smells like marshmallows. Actually, it does smell sweet. A bag of marshmallows. Yeah, it smells sweet. It smells kind of young. Marshmallows and cream. That whipped marshmallow, like the can. Yeah. Marshmallow right. fluff. You fluff, yeah. There you like go. in uh, Billy Madison. He eats the snack packs. <laughs> no, like the, the glue. Know, right? When he's he eating eats the, the glue, glue and yeah. he roars like, "That's just marshmallow paste." They put yeah, in yeah. and make it. Yeah. They probably watered it down slightly. Okay, I'm not pulling a lot, but I, I'm getting like this hint of like tea leaf or mint down there. Yeah, I, it, there's a little minty. The sweet marshmallow, the mint, I'm getting like a little like hay. Like, uh, yeah. Hey. Hey. <laughs> hmm. This is very sweet. It smells sweet, young. Like powder kind of... sugar. Mm hmm. Ooh. Whoa, the legs actually. Funnel cake. Funnel cake. The legs the are not bad. Sugar took me there. Should we? Let's just dive into it. Let's go. Yeah. Dive in. Not complex. Good Not legs. really complex. Pretty simple. Cheers. Cheers. Um, boy, that where is that? That tea aspect is really there. This is like water. It is literally water. It's not. Uh, it's oily, but there's no taste. I was gonna say like the opposite. I don't of... think it's very oily at all. I think it's uh, it's literally like the same go viscosity the... as water. Hey, guys, I gotta be honest with you. I feel like this should have a finish, but it just kind of like, it, it, do you know what it tasted like? It tasted like I took a little bit of powdered sugar and just like 
put some on my tongue where it like immediately melts and just kind of fizzles out. I get a little on the front end, like a very, very like faint little spicy, like tss, gone. Yeah, yeah. It's like black tea. That is instant. It's like they're it's like gone. gone. It's like black tea. Yeah, like a little like. Black tea is probably, yeah. yeah. It's not spicy. It's kind of like this like it's a little subtle. A little pepper. Pepper pop. Yeah, just like real quick. But it's gone. There's it's no that? finish on this thing. It's it's literally black tea. Like you freaking nailed it. Like you get that spiciness, black tea with the end, you taste the sugar. Like it's like a lightly sugared black tea. Super light. I mean, but I, okay. So it, what, what were we expecting though, right? No age statement, yeah. 90 proof. Yeah. Readily available everywhere. How much? Uh, like 35, it's 40 like 30, bucks. 35, yeah. 40 bucks. Interesting. So do you think this was any way, shape or form Buffalo Trace, obviously they're hopping on like the celebrity bandwagon, right? I was gonna say, is the collab but, thing a good thing? But are they going, we just need to get something out that the every every man can get their hands on because- like everyone can find this, it's not a Buffalo Trace label? Yes, because mm -hmm. Buffalo Trace is like, they should be $26. People are like, I got a Buffalo Trace in the back for $87. And you're like, what are you talking about? Yeah. And you can't find it now. Like you cannot find it on shelves. So were they just like, let's just sneak something out that they can get their hands on, it's a Buffalo Trace product. I mean, maybe that's part of it. Maybe they're saying like, hey, let's start partnering with people and make some stuff that we actually produce and get out to the masses. I don't really know. Right. Uh, it, it could just be- An available option. It could option. just be a celebrity whiskey too. It right? doesn't really have that distinct Buffalo Trace like there's not the like, tannin like minerality, the, the, gra yeah. the grapey the and the minerality. Like, yeah, there's, there's like none yeah. of that in here, so it's kind of like maybe this is meant to be just. Makes me think maybe it's that's not, why they didn't want to disclose themselves as the distillery. Or the, makes me think it's probably not, not Buffalo Trace distillate. It's probably not. It doesn't maybe. taste like it. Or like, or is it? What's what's the mash bill again? Did did we know? Did Und undisclosed. It's a blend though. Are we looking at this it's wrong? It's not high rye or anything like that? It's completely, no, you don't know. It's just a blend. To me, I wonder if it's almost like, a, is this like Blanton's before Blanton's is aged? Is it just like super young Blanton's or something like that? No, because we had the ancient. I know. We've had the ancient but age. But it could be ancient, now. ancient age blended with something else. Because it's, it is like kind of sweet and honey get, tasteless. I don't get like any of the Blanton's qualities in this. No. I'd be shocked if this sat in warehouse mm. age. I don't think would they be good. using Blanton's too for this no off-brand thing? Probably. I feel like they would call it out on the label too. And right. Is it higher? It's got Blanton's in it. Right. Could this also just be a rail option that they want to distribute to the bars and get people excited about? Because Chris Stapleton's name's on it. Harlan's yeah. name's on it. I gotta be honest. With and they're you. like, hey, we're doing a little old-fashioned tonight. We got the Traveler in it. Just to say it. Because this to me is a. Uh, Cocktail whiskey. I don't even know I if never... I would say that. Okay. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's get into it. Let's get it. Okay. Let's get it. I want to go for. I haven't gone first in a while. All go right. First. All right. Ethan, go first. first. I think there's some other objectives. There's some other stuff afoot mm -hmm. uh, on this bottle. Mm -hmm. This is not a, I'm gonna sit down and sip on mm -hmm. this with some buddies. This isn't a long Hell day no. at work. No. It doesn't offer anything and that's okay. Like I, I don't know what they're, I'm weirded out. I love Chris Stapleton's music. Not saying I don't like him. I don't understand where you're partnering whiskey with somebody who's sober. Because he just signed his name off on it. He, well, and Harlan did Weedley he try is it? such like a good. Well, and Harlan's a legend. Yeah, he, like, he's literally a so legend, so. I think they, are trying to offer something to the masses because nobody can find their products. Yeah. I think this is a great option for mixers at a bar. $35 price point, they kept it low on purpose, obviously. Mm -hmm. I'm a deny, I would never probably buy this again. Um, mm -hmm. It just doesn't do anything. Like, I, I don't know what the purpose of this is other than, but if I'm gonna mix, like I want a little bit of spiciness, I want a little bit of rye, I want something in there going on. I want a rye usually right. when I mix. So yeah, I'm not gonna put also. like a bland, like lemonade would overpower this. You know? right. like, yeah. So, yeah. For that reason, I'm out. You want me to go? I can. I can go. I'm probably gonna say the same stuff. Uh, yeah. I mean, okay. This for thirty dollars, I can get can a knob, a knob nine. I can get. There's a lot of better uh, bottle replacements. I'm gonna be a deny on this one. Um, I don't think I would even want to. I feel like putting this in a cocktail. It's already ninety proof. It's gonna make it weaker, and it, it, this doesn't really, like you said. Like I want to use a rye because it gives me that peppery and I want to use like a bourbon because then it gives you the sweetness and then, you know, I'd probably rather just even use brandy or, you know, like a right. different. So to me, this is just too bland. It's just, there's not a lot going on. Um, you want the booze to shine through. Typically, I feel like typically collab like celebrity endorsed 
bottles are either not good <laughs> or they're tasteless. Like Long Branch. Some people love Long Branch. Which means not good. Long Branch is literally water. Heaven, Heaven's Door. And that's Matthew McConaughey's. And then Heaven's Door is... Uh, Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan. And then this is Chris Stapleton. The Heaven's Door was okay. Heaven's Door was probably the better. But that also wasn't even the rail. That was like their 10-year, remember? That's true. That was actually So imagine like, what their like 10-year... Yeah, or their, know, sorry, their like, rail tastes like yeah. compared to what we... Yeah. Uh, if you want to try it, you can. But if you're watching this review... Well, are you going to try it? I, I, well, I'm saying like it's only 30 bucks. It's, oh, yeah, yeah. It's hard to deny a cheap bottle, but this is just not worth it. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I agree. I'm going to deny it. the only identity that this bottle carries is in the... Dude, I don't know your music, Chris Stapleton. Chris yeah. Stapleton. Don't know you, but that's the only identity. And Harlan Wheatley. your signature on the cap. Yeah. Uh, other than that, uh, yeah, I just don't really see a purpose to this bottle. I don't know why you yeah. would spend $35 on it. I would spend $35 on a lot of other things. Dude, Buffalo Trace, regular Buffalo Trace, at, if you can find it for 26 to 30 bucks, blows us out of Early the water. times. I don't know if it blows it out of the water. I mean, it's probably, yeah. I just, I don't Early really see times. a point to regular Buffalo Trace either, I'm going to be honest. Early that's times, Larceny, me. Elijah Craig, $17.92. All things that are around that price. Igor hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like yeah. there's no identity. I don't know what it's trying to do. It's it's not like it's good in a cocktail. It's not right. for sipping. So I just don't know who it's for. Marketing punch. I don't yeah. know who it's for. Yeah, yeah, make some money. Make some money for Chris Stapleton. <laughs> we we gave you some money. <laughs> yeah, right. He got us. He got like five bucks off of. Okay. All right, that'll do it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Have you guys been able to find uh, the traveler? Uh, if so, what did you think of it? Was it worth 35 bucks? Hopefully you didn't pay secondary prices. Right, I really, um, yeah. I'd be so upset paying 200. Bitter. There's a bitterness in the table. I can't imagine that there's, that there's, I'm really shocked that there was a secondary market for this. Oh, right yeah. when it came out, people so were it, like, Buffalo Trace, new thing! But it must have been known that there was going to be more of it produced than, than like Buffalo Trace and just right. like the regular stock. But anyways, let us know if you've been able to find it. Yeah. Let us know what you think of it. Um, let us know if we're wrong or if you know anything about like the whiskey it. that's that's in there. Yeah. If it actually is Buffalo Trace Distillate or which yeah. warehouse it's in. If you do know that, let us know. Uh, drop a comment down below. We reply to everything. Uh, I think that'll wrap it up, boys. All right. All for one, one for all. Cheers. Cheers.